Hi, um, you're welcome to the third lecture in electrical and electronic engineering. My name is John Rosen from NUI Galway. Today we're going to have a look at um, converting from AC to DC voltages and we'll also have a quick um, circuits primer. So we started um, talking about this briefly last week, but we're going to look today at the um, charger. Uh, maybe a mobile phone charger would be a good example and the various subsystems that are in there. So we've talked in the past about systems being composed of various subsystems. The charger subsystem itself has a number of subparts and these include a transformer which basically transforms from a, um, a high voltage to a low voltage, a rectifier which will go from an AC waveform towards um, a DC waveform, a smoothing capacitor which basically um, takes a rectified waveform and uh, helps to smooth out the voltage waveform um, towards a DC voltage and then a voltage regulator. This is something new we haven't seen before but basically it takes an input voltage that fluctuates slightly around a certain level and will produce a constant output. So you can imagine if you had to sketch these subsystems you'd be looking at something that basically has a series of blocks um, in series. So at the input we would have um, an AC waveform. You must remember an AC waveform basically is a waveform that alternates in uh, two directions and um, we'll have a look at this so for example this um, alternates about a zero axis something like that this would be a sinusoidal waveform and our aim in the uh, charger is basically to go from something like this to basically a flash or what's called a direct current DC um, voltage so that basically will have a fixed um, value in a single direction so it does that through a various number of stages. Um, first thing is that our mains voltage is usually quite high compared to what we need in our electronic equipment. So I mentioned the last time that um, the RMS voltage, which um, is used here in this country, is 230 volts, what's called root mean squared. And the root mean squared value basically is a measure of um, the voltage level. And what you can do is, if you want to find the peak value of this voltage here, which is this value here, 230 volts RMS. You take 230 volts for the sine wave and you multiply it by root 2. And that works out to be somewhere around 325 volts. So a sinusoidal waveform with an RMS of 230 volts will basically be a sinusoid with a peak value of 325 volts. So the first stage in our um, phone charger basically takes this um, sinusoid uh, 325, sorry, 325 volt peak and transforms it to a lower level. What happens next then is that this goes through a rectifier and the rectifier will uh, basically um, change this uh, waveform that's going in two directions to be a waveform that only is in one direction. So for example, we'll be looking in a minute at a half wave rectifier which effectively takes this bottom half of the waveform and removes it. We'll also have a look at a full wave rectifier which basically takes this bottom half of the waveform and inverts it. Once that rectified voltage has been produced, the next stage is a smoothing capacitor. The smoothing capacitor basically um, creates a voltage waveform that charges up um, during the positive um, uh, increasing side of the positive cycle and then will discharge until the voltage um, exceeds the, um, the discharge value. We'll see that again later on as well. And um, we get something that's kind of approaching a, a DC-like waveform, which then goes through a voltage regulator. Voltage regulator is the last step, and basically, if we have a voltage that's around a certain value, and maybe changing a little bit above and below a desired value, we can put it through a voltage regulator that will maintain it at a steady um, voltage level. So as I said, you can imagine the series of these blocks um, as subsystems within the charger. Basically, we have our input waveform, as shown here, um, going into the transformer, being reduced in size, being rectified, basically changed into a single direction, going through a smoothing capacitor, which is um, basically creating a waveform that sits on top of this rectified waveform, and then it goes through a voltage regular to, to create an almost um, perfect DC, DC um, output. So that's a series of of subsystems it goes through. So we look briefly the last day at the AC to DC converter and that basically carries out some of these steps. So we have a, an input waveform here shown on the left 
and that goes through a, um, a transformer, perhaps to reduce the voltage level, and then it goes through a diode. And the diode effectively will only conduct um, in a single direction. So the diode characteristic is something a little bit like this. So if we were to draw current versus voltage, so current on this axis here, and voltage on this axis, we would have a characteristic for a diode that looks something like this. And effectively what's happening is, for a certain voltage level, um, the diode will conduct, and it'll conduct current. And that's on the positive side here of the, the axis. And then on the negative side, the diode stops conducting. So you can think of it here in terms of our input AC waveform, that basically during the positive half of this waveform here, the diode will conduct, and during the negative half, the diode does not conduct. And effectively, that's what's happening here at the output. We are only getting the positive half of the waveform um, at the output. And in the middle, there is nothing. And this is being observed on an output resistance here, which is shown at the output of this circuit, sometimes referred to as a load. You can think of a load as being basically something that's kind of at the output of a circuit. And this is kind of your desired um, thing that you want to actually power. So it could be a light bulb, it could be a motor, it could be um, a speaker, whatever. So we get some kind of a unidirectional voltage at the output, and then we typically try and put this through the capacitor, which you remember from the previous um, slide was our next step to smooth this out. The solid state diode is the electronic switch. As you know, the diode will conduct in one direction only. When a positive is applied to the collector and a negative to the emitter, current will flow. The diode is said to be forward biased. With negative on the collector and positive on the emitter, the diode is reverse biased and current will not flow. It's this on-off characteristic of the diode that makes it an ideal electronic switch. So let's now determine exactly how the diode is used in the bridge rectifier to accomplish the electronic switching of the load and the ground connections. So that's a very simple, um, what's called a halfway rectifier. Now, it's giving us a, a, an output, but it can be improved upon. And this is uh, one particular circuit which can be used to do that. So it's called a diode bridge, and it's sometimes known uh, this. Uh, it's a full wave rectifier, which is uh, in this configuration, it's a diode bridge. Now what happens is, basically we have, uh, as you can see here in the middle of the picture, we've got four diodes in a sort of a, um, a diamond shape. And during each half of the input waveform, again, our, our, our input waveform is a, is a sinusoid, so it's as, as we had before. During each half of the input waveform, basically our diodes will either conduct or not conduct in pairs. Now, this particular um, configuration here shows um, one half of the cycle. So what's happening is, in this case, we're looking at the positive um, half of the sinusoid um, input. So this is the, 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 the positive um, uh, input part. And that's, you imagine it's coming in here into, into this input here. During this uh, positive half of the AC waveform, basically we have a positive voltage here, and this side of the circuit, which is shown here in red, is more positive compared to the um, part down here at the bottom. And basically what happens then is both this diode here at the top, which is shown in red, and this diode here shown at the bottom in blue are conducting because there's a more positive voltage on this side than there is on this side down here. And you remember in the diode that when there's a positive voltage across it, it basically conducts. So this diode here at the top and this diode here at the bottom are basically um, able to um, conduct. And the voltage that's shown here at the input is passed through to the output. Now this symbol here is, is um, a symbol for DC voltage. This isn't quite DC voltage, but we'll see how it gets there um, in the end. So what happens then in the next stage is that instead of a positive voltage here, we have a negative voltage. So it's something that's on the bottom half of the AC cycle. A negative voltage here um, means that basically we have a lower voltage on this side of the um, diamond than on the other side. 
So these two diodes, the blue one and the red one, are now conducting um, instead of the, the previous two. So effectively, the voltage down here at the bottom is at a higher level than the voltage up here at the top because it's now at, it, it's now a negative value. And these two diodes turn on instead. And what happens is if you follow this uh, negative voltage through to the output, you'll see that it looks something like this. So basically, it's inverted. The blue line is now connected down here, and the red line is now connected up here to the top. So whatever was in here at the input is being inverted at the output. So the sum effect of those two basically is that for the previous step, which is step one, which is on the, on the other slide, we get this pass through to the output after the positive half of the AC waveform. And then in the next stage, we get this pass through and so on. And the, basically the process um, repeats. So effectively, if you imagine this is during the um, positive half of the input waveform, and this is during the negative half of the input waveform. So this is step one as we had there, and this was step two, and one, and two, and so on. Okay. So this picture here shows basically um, that um, the, the, the input uh, sinusoidal signal and it's showing the half-wave rectified version, which is the first one we looked at with the single diode, and it's showing the full-wave rectified version with the, um, the four diodes. And you can see here we've basically labeled the two stages, stage one when the um, positive half is being passed through, and stage two when the negative half is being passed through. As we said, half-wave rectifier, nothing is being sent through the single diode. In the uh, diode bridge configuration, the negative portion of the waveform is being passed through to the output. Now, we also mentioned that there is a, um, a capacitor um, in the mobile phone charging system, and indeed most um, um, rectifiers would, would add what's called a smoothing capacitor at the end. This particular picture here shows you what would happen if you added in a smoothing capacitor, let's just pick a fixed value, um, into our half wave uh, rectifier. So what you can see basically is a, we've gone from this kind of uh, unidirectional sinusoidal shape voltage to something that's kind of charges up, as I mentioned with the capacitor, we'll explain about capacitors later on. And then when it reaches this peak value of the voltage, it stops charging and eventually it begins to discharge as the uh, input voltage drops off. At this point here, it's still discharging, but the input voltage is greater and it gives it a chance to charge up again. So it charges up to the peak and again it drops off and the process repeats itself. So there's kind of an average voltage value, if I was draw a line somewhere in the middle there, you can imagine there might be a, an average voltage line, uh, average voltage value somewhere in the middle around there. But it's not um, as big as it could be. And indeed, there's a lot of fluctuations here. It's still a, obviously an AC type waveform, and it's not a, a DC waveform yet. If you look at the full wave, um, uh, the diode bridge configuration, you can see here that we're getting something that's giving probably a higher average value and something that's closer to a, a fixed value than the, the previous slide, but um, probably still not perfect. Now, both of these uh, cases, this is a half wave and this is a full wave, can be improved through a, a choice of the capacitor value. Basically, um, having a larger capacitor will have a um, larger amount of uh, charge that will be stored in the capacitor and it will um, be able to discharge more slowly. So we will get something that might actually be improved and might not have as um, as, as uh, rapid a discharge uh, rate as, as shown here and might actually get closer to a, an almost DC waveform. So this is the smoothed output from the full rectifier as it says there uh, near to our desired DC value 